Hello everyone, hello. That's right here with Inscription. Inscription at last is when she would say, as I have apparently taken a very long time to get to this. Open my chat back up. There we go. Alright, so I don't know much about this game. Uh, except that when I opened it, I guess it started a file? How do I... It wants me to continue, but I never actually started a game. Oh. Well. I don't think there's anything in the options we need. Okay. So. Let's, uh... Okay, we gotta click that price and then click here. That's normal. Okay. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now, play your stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell and attend your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my scale all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stout stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stout. That means your stout's health is less than two. There is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. How dull. Well, it only has two HR three. That sucks. Well, either way, he's gonna die. Wait, no, I wonder. Did I act first? Or... Do that. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. Oh, sec. River Snapper. He's got 6 HP. That would have been a better choice right there. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I got a wolf card. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. True. PMF put me up in a card game. I'm getting my ass kicked. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. 
the caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor thing beast does not kill it. You may only choose one, or only one may grace your paltry deck. Hmm. The permanently respawning or the adder. Go with the cat first. Another creature joins your car caravan. Hey Chocobo, how's it going? Everybody's saying they didn't expect Crisis going to be finished so quickly. I'm just really good at the game. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. You were ambushed while crossing some uh, some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. I'll play along for now. You may move now to see my moves ahead of time. Or you may now see my moves ahead of time. Okay, he's got a wolf coming up there. He's got a boulder in front of him. If I play the stoat and sacrifice the cat, the cat comes back, right? Because you can't kill it? Cat does leave the board. Oh, that's less exciting. Now. Doesn't leave the board. I'm sleepy, all right. All right. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. I don't really... He's got like a flying enemy coming up and I'm pretty sure I can't hurt that. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack deliberately, or directly. My bat flew right over your stoat. Two wolves. We did it, team. You prevailed and checked onward past the now bloody terrain. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Alright, so we already have two wolves. I'm thinking we should get one flying enemy. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. 
You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, son. The one that will be lost forever. Oh. I don't want to get rid of my cat. My cat's good. There it is. Wait, bird. <laughs> the cat is now flying. Excellent. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the spirit now lives in the cat. Okay, that's nice. I've never played this before. Behold my totem, and inscribe my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Actually, I should have put the cat over there, because then they can't kill it. Oh, they're flying, it doesn't really matter. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. I am totally dead this time, though. That was four damage. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. He only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Doesn't really matter which one I take out, so. No. It's fine. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Fuck. Alright. The safe. There's a little men here. Interesting. Look at that. What oh, is that guy? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Hey, Doofus. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. A watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Oh, I want that. What? No, fuck. Alright, well, we're going with the sparrow again, I guess. Oh, okay, I only have the sparrow I can use. Oh, a snapper. Let's make a flying wolf, I guess. Now that we know what that does. Don't want to be spoiled on this game? Fair enough. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. 
Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> He's got a grizzly coming in, okay. Brand fur, just a tree, okay. That's all I can do for now. That cat. Oh, I gotta sacrifice something for the cat. Shit. Oh, well, it's fine. So, I can sacrifice the cat over and over again. Um, if it gets killed by an enemy, does it come back or is it just sacrifice? Because I know it's got like a little sword in the back there. I can do here right now. <laughs> Back on the board. Why are you talking to me, card? Okay. Fuck, Grizzly Bear. We go right we go to a fire if we go left we can get more items from a backpack i've never gone to the fire before though the items do look kind of nice uh, let's check the fire the stalwart snapper a near impenetrable defense wolf i do like it I kind of want a sparrow because I don't have a sparrow anymore. Those mushrooms mean duplicates? Yeah, so I already have these two, so I think we're going to go with the sparrow. Might as well collect all the cards. Plus it's a flying card, so... They'll give us three flying cards with our cat. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one of them said. Warm it by the fire, and it will, uh, well, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. That's worrisome. <laughs> I'm always worried, like, I'm going to put this out and they're just going to kill my uh, card and I'm not going to get it back. You think the cat? Alright, let's try the cat then. Yay! The fire warmed the poor cat, enhancing its power. Now it's a flying cat that can be eternally sacrificed. 
One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, he pulled the cat away from the fire and left. They'll never kill it on the first attempt? Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so this looks like a boss fight. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clanking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Twas the Prospector! <laughs> He's doing the Prospector again? Easy boss, the mule's key. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can't really play anything this round, so. Take some damage here, but fuck. All right, I should go with the right. Oh, here goes. you. I'm gonna sacrifice you for you. And then if I'm still alive on the next turn, we will uh, try that. Should even out though. You didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them there, cards. Well, that was fucking weird. G -g gold I uh, shut gold. Oh. Okay. Well, he killed all of my cards. There's nothing I can do now. Get him. Haha, fuck you, I'll put up the best stuff of defense ever. You can't survive against me.
the battle had taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. You fucking cheater. One sec. Epic decided to pop up. No! More gold for me! Hey, Heptoplod. Hello. Welcome. That cheating bastard. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. This is a card to draw the cost from. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because... I'm drawing the cost, it'd just be the sparrow, because... The cost of one blood from the sparrow. And another. This time I will use the power and health. The number. Yeah, they both cost one. Alright, well, let's go with three power. The wolf. Now, choose a card from which I will extract the sigils. Okay, well, the sigil of Airbun from the wolf. I never did ask you your name. Steve. There is now but one final matter. Airwolf. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. I can't actually. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creature perishes, for any reason. So if I... What do you got there? You got a rattler. What if I hmm, drop this on this turn, let it die, uh, and then use a squirrel on the next turn, or so that my opossum still lives, or my uh, stoat. I'm gonna do that. He's gonna come in. He's gonna kill my squirrel. I'm gonna get a bone. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. So anyway, so we're gonna draw a squirrel. Okay, I'm gonna drop the squirrel here. We're going to sacrifice it for the stoat. Okay, now we're gonna summon the opossum with two bones. My 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 stoat's gonna kill the rattler. Boom, look at that. And all I sacrificed was a squirrel. Okay, well, shit. Do this. Play the squirrel this turn. You can go over here. It was short lived, but. You could choose just not to play a card? Oh, okay. Well, either way, it worked out in my favor. Bullfrog! Bull job! A one and a two. One and a two. Okay.
How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Alright, so here's where we would move on, but it is break time, so give us a sec, and I will continue after this guy's done talking. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Okay, we'll do that here in just a moment, guys. Don't go anywhere. We got more inscription for you.